Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the National Anthem.
for the invocation. Lord God, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon all those who graduate today. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and love. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. Amen. You may be seated. Good evening, Highlands High School class of 2020, family and friends. I am Charlie Mort. I'm one of the principals here at Highlands High School. While it is truly my pleasure to be here addressing you this evening, I can honestly say that this school year did not end the way that any of us saw your high school career ending. I am truly pleased that we are able to stand with you together tonight to celebrate this special day. To say that this class and this year is unique would be an understatement. Students, you have accomplished much and you have developed into outstanding young adults. You may have also just experienced and weathered what may be the first big storm of your adult life. And while we have missed out on many opportunities together, because of a circumstance that was not of our control, it should serve you well to know that you will be able to handle anything that life throws your way. This will not be the last time that life deals you a difficult blow. It will not be the last time that you have to do something in a manner that you may not see most fit. It is not the last time that you will deal with disappointment or loss. It is, however, a chance, a chance to lower your shoulder and to push through a difficult time and persevere. If this time has showed us anything, it shows that you are strong. It shows that you are resilient and it shows that you are forward thinking. Class of 2020, I am confident that as you leave Highlands, you will continue to fare well. At every graduation that I have ever been part of, I always make a statement in one form or another that greater challenges inspire greater achievements. This class can be a shining example of the ability to do just that. Use this tumultuous time as a platform, a platform to jump from, not a roadblock. There is nothing keeping you from accomplishing whatever it is that you sincerely desire in this life. Pursue your dreams and remain focused on making those dreams come true, knowing that there will be obstacles, there will be roadblocks, and yes, there may even be pandemics that you have to fight through. I tell every graduating class that through the good, the bad, and the challenging, and all of the enjoyable things that come with it, that life should be an adventure. Class of 2020, live your life as an adventure. 
Finally, class of 2020, I leave you with a final thought. One final thought that has two very important parts. Two, per two parts that purposefully intertwine. The two R words, respect and relationships. The R in Rams, as you've been taught these many years and throughout your years here at Highlands, stands for respect. Class of 2020, it is okay to be vocal. It is okay to share your thoughts and feelings. But also please remember, remember to be respectful of others as they do the same. As you traverse this world, you encounter many, many people. Some will be like you and some will be very different. But if you take the time to listen and to respect those around you, you will go far. And finally, the second R word, relationships. Let me repeat that word again, relationships. Relationships, not achievements, not the acquisition of things or money, are what matter in life. I tell this again to every graduating class, find a balance between working toward your goals and dreams while still creating those relationships that carry you through life. It is okay to, share pe to show people that you care about them. It is not a sign of weakness. In honor of some of those relationships, I'm going to ask all of us to take a moment of silence. A moment of silence to recognize those loved ones that have touched our lives that may not be with us today, including our beloved classmate, Matthew Watts. Thank you. Class of 2020, it has been a privilege and an honor to be your principal. Thank you for being part of the legacy and the tradition here at Highlands. Once again, congratulations. It's my pleasure to introduce to you my co-principal, Mr. Sean Bennis, who will make the introductions and share a brief few comments as well. Mr. Bennis. Good evening, honored guests, parents, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow students of the class of 2020. This is going to be a little bit different, but I would like to say hello to the auditorium, pod B, pod C, and also the audion at this time. Uh, thank you for your patience. We would like to welcome you to the 52nd annual high school commencement ceremony honoring the class of 2020. Although COVID-19 put us 25 days behind schedule, we are finally here to honor this outstanding group of young men and women. We thank you for your flexibility and cooperation while planning and preparing for this evening's event. I am Sean Bennis, one of the other principal at Highlands High School. I am also a member of the 1987, it's getting older, graduating class of Highlands High School and I am a Ram for life. I am honored and proud to participate in this special, special occasion with all of you. The class of 2020 has proven to be true Rams. They have grown into responsible, accountable, motivated, and safe young adults. Their responsible, accountable, and motivated behavior has allowed them to create an impressive list of accolades that would like to share. But first, I would like to commend all of them for their clear and intentional focus on the S tonight in Rams, which is safe. They've done an outstanding job yesterday and this evening of being safe and adhering to social distancing guidelines. You may have also noticed they're wearing their commemorative 2000, class of 2020 face covering this evening. Now to the accolades. Three students in the class of 2020 have a cumulative grade point average of 100% or higher through four years. 22 more have a cumulative GPA of 95% or higher. These students are being recognized this evening by wearing their honor cords. A 
According to our senior class self-reported data, 73% of our graduates will move on to a post-secondary institution. They have also accumulated a total of over $685,000 in first year scholarship money. Three of our students were named Student of the Year in their respective programs at Forbes Regional Career and Technical Center. Three of our students will begin work through apprenticeship programs this summer. Four of our grad graduates will enter the armed forces and another 12 will directly enter the workforce. Class of 2020, congratulations on your accomplishments. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. And finally, thank you for your commitment to being Rams. You are now and forever be a Ram for life. Congratulations, class of 2020. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our guests this evening, uh, sitting on the stage with me. Would you please stand to be recognized? We have Highland School District Board of Directors President, Mrs. Bobby Neese. Highland, <laughs> Highland School Board District uh, Board of Directors Vice President, Mr. Gene Witt. Highland School District Superintendent, Dr. Monique Mowenny. Highland School District Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Kathleen Kublik. High School Principal, Mr. Charlie Mort. Class Valedictorian, Mr. William Gustafson. Class Salutatorian, Mr. Thomas Bender. Senior Class President, Mr. Christopher Cole Ratliff. Senior Class Vice President, Ms. Rachel Marie Blackburn. Senior Class Secretary, Ms. Kara Marie Lehu. Senior Class Treasurer, Ms. Georgia Victoria Peters. And finally, our commencement speaker for this evening, Mr. Christopher Timmons. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it is with great pleasure that I introduce Highland School District Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Monique Mouini, to sh share a few remarks. Dr. Mouini. Good evening, parents and guardians, family and friends, family and friends of the graduates, school board members, fellow administrators, faculty and staff, and most importantly, our graduates. I welcome everyone to the 52nd annual commencement of the Highlands Class of 2020. I never thought I would be welcoming everyone in this type of a setting, but this proves how our world is evolving and that we have to be able to adapt and prepare for the changes and uncertainty that lie ahead. Graduates, it is my pleasure to be standing here tonight as the superintendent of the Highland School District. It is with great pride that I address you today as you complete your graduation requirements and prepare to take the next steps on your life's journey. Each year before I begin, I like to take a moment to recognize all of the people who were critical in getting you to this point. To the parents and guardians of the graduates, thank you for your ongoing support and dedication in making this day a reality for your children. And thank you for trusting us with your most precious cargo over the years. Highlands Board of School Directors and Administrators, Thank you for your ongoing commitment in making this day possible for our young future leaders of tomorrow. Mr. Moore and Mr. Bennis, a special thank you for the genuine care and concern you showed for these students each day. And thank you for making this day happen for our seniors. Teachers, 
thank you for teaching these students from kindergarten through 12th grade the necessary skills and knowledge needed to be successful and for pre preparing them for life after high school. Their success would not have been possible without the dedication and support you provided these young ladies and gentlemen day in and day out. Highland School District staff, thank you for providing our graduates with a safe and clean learning environment each day, a healthy breakfast and lunch every day, a smile each morning when they came to the office because they forgot something and had to call home, an ice pack when they fell and got hurt, extra help in reading or math, or when they just needed someone to talk to. Graduates, take a moment to reflect on all of the support you had throughout your career as a Highland student. Now let's show your appreciation by giving everyone a round of applause. Today is a day that is bittersweet. It is unfortunate that we are not able to celebrate this significant accomplishment as a group like we traditionally do with family and friends. On the other hand, we are relieved that we are able to recognize the class of 2020 one last time together as a group as you so rightfully deserve. This day would not have been possible without your voice and the administration thanks you for working so respectfully to express your thoughts and desires so that today could become a reality. Your hard work and determination have paid off. As I reflect on this past year and your particular class, I've come to realize just how special and unique your group is. You were born into a world struggling to accept the events of 9-11 and are graduating as the world continues to deal with the circumstances we face as a result of the COVID pandemic. Despite the fact that two of your greatest milestones have involved tragedy, you all have demonstrated the strength and resilience that was needed to overcome these obstacles. While you were too young to experience the significant effects of the 9-11 tragedy and the effects it had on our country, it has created a very different world you would have to navigate. Now, almost 18 years later, your class is the first to experience a part of history that will forever change our lives. As the first class to graduate during the COVID pandemic, you've encountered another remarkable event that continues to define your lives as unique and special. If I had to think of one word that describes the class of 2020, it would be resilient. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines resilience as the ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. These past few months have been overwhelming to say the least. Your senior class was robbed of very special memories, including prom, baccalaureate, senior week, and many other special events that are typically arranged for seniors to celebrate your successful careers as students. Your resilience did not allow you to be defeated. You did not allow the school closure to define the end of your senior year. Rather, you responded and adjusted seamlessly to this misfortune, and you defined the end of your high school career. Your innovative and creative ideas allowed you to discover unique and new ways to celebrate your accomplishments. You wrote the last chapter of your high school experience in a way that is more exciting and unique than past experiences. From within these challenging circumstances, your class has started, has started some new senior traditions that will continue for years to come. Graduates, innovation, creativity, problem solving and resilience are all qualities that 21st century jobs require. Your class possesses each of these characteristics and more. Now, the time has come for you to make use of these qualities along with the lessons you've been taught, the knowledge you've acquired, and the skills you've gained in order to achieve success. Now more than ever, our world is in desperate need of leaders who embrace diversity and accept people for who they are. They do not judge others based on the color of their skin, their age, sexual orientation, or religion. Class of 2020, we need you to step up and be the change agents that will make our world a better place. Teach others how to believe that all lives matter and everyone has something to offer in life. If anyone can make a, def a difference, it is definitely this group. In the end, you define your success. 
There is no definition of what success looks like. However, it can only be achieved by taking risks, experiencing failures, and never giving up on your dreams. So, put yourself out there, try something new, and be that person who makes things happen. Just remember, when life gets tough, because it will, and when you feel like giving up, because you will, think back to these past few months and all that you've endured. Recall everything that you overcame through resiliency and know that if you got through this, you can get through just about anything. Finally, think of all those people who were recognized this evening in support of you and know that we believe in you and will continue to be here for you regardless of where life takes you. I wish you all the very best of luck as you pursue your dreams and goals. Go out there and continue to make us Highlands proud. Good luck and God bless each of you on your journey ahead. Thank you. At this time, I'm honored to bring to the podium Christopher Ratliff, Senior Class President, to present the 2020 Class Gift. Hi, everyone. I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm a little nervous right now because it's often like hot in here. Yeah, the masks are a little hard to breathe in, but. Uh, we'll get through it. So, a lot has happened in the past couple of months, and it has been a very difficult time for many. As seniors, we watched as many things got canceled and our lives basically put on hold. So many uncertainties and questions that no one has answers to. But one thing is for sure, that our first responders will be, a, be there for us in our time of need. Especially everyone at a hospital, from doctors, nurses, and all the staff. They're willing to put themselves at risk every day to help save people. Highlands Class of 2020 wants to recognize and say thank you to everyone who works at our local hospital, Allegheny Valley Hospital. We donated to an employee fund that helps support hospital staff, providing them with whatever they need in their time of emergency. Finally, we hope this donation can make a good impact on those who are putting everything on the line just to keep us safe and healthy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, and class of 2020, I am honored and privileged to present to you the class of 2020 Highlands High School salutatorian, Mr. Thomas Bender. I stand here today in thanks to a few very important people. Without them, I would not be where I am today. First, I would like to thank my family, whose love and support has always pushed me to become the best I can be. Next, I would like to thank my teachers, whose knowledge and wisdom has taught me everything I need to know to be successful. Though all my teachers have helped me greatly, I would like to give a special thanks to two very special teachers. I would like to thank Ms. Stack and Ms. Taylor, whose classes and teachings pushed me in ways that I had not been before and made me a better student and person than I was before meeting them. Finally, I would like to thank my friends who have been there throughout the years and throughout all the challenging times that we've faced. I could not ask for better friends and I could not thank you enough. Once again, I would like to thank all these people. Without them, I could not hope to be where I am today. It means the world to me everything that you all have done and for that, I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, and class of 2020, I'm honored and privileged to present to you the class of 2020 Highlands High School valedictorian, Mr. William Gustafson. Sorry, 
about this. Good evening, everyone, and thank you all for being here in person and virtually to properly celebrate us as a class on this great achievement. I would like to thank a couple of very important people who have helped me reach this milestone. First, I would like to thank my parents for always supporting and believing me and supplying me with the knowledge and tools to make me successful. I would also like to thank my two older sisters who set a great example for me and always there when I need it. Next, I would like to thank my teachers who have pushed me and challenged me to be a better student and individual in and outside the classroom. Finally, I would like to thank my friends for always making bad times enjoyable and fun. I truly would not be standing here without all these people to, to support and, look, and give me help. I like, I like to give my last thank you to all of you guys for being here. I would truly not be able to do it without you. Thank you. On behalf of the Highland School Board, I extend my sincere congratulations to our top graduates. It's a pleasure to announce that the Highland School Board will purchase two books for the high school library in their honor. William Gustafson, valedictorian, plans to attend Penn State Barron to major in mechanical engineering. He's chosen the book titled Birdville School, a portrait of small town America in the 20th century, written by his former scoutmaster, Bob Barrage. Bob is a passionate member of our community in which Billy has had the pleasure of getting to work with, share stories, and learn life lessons. This book highlights the history of the Birdville School and shares the research that Bob has been completing for years. Billy's hope is this book will teach future students who want to learn more about our town's history and about a school that once was in the little town of Birdville. Thomas Bender, salutatorian, plans to attend Penn State New Kensington to major in chemical engineering. He has chosen the book Republic by Plato. From a young age, everything about the ancient Greeks has interested Thomas, from their stunning art and architecture to their scientific and engineering advancement. Thomas feels this book also conveys an important message. It teaches us to question everything and to make our own decisions, which he believes is a very important concept for everyone to understand and apply to their daily lives. Congratulations. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker for this evening, Mr. Christopher Timmons, who will be sharing the road ahead. Mr. Christopher Timmons. Good afternoon, Highland students, administrators, and Highlands community. I'm beyond honored to be speaking in front of you here at a live graduation, considering all the unfortunate circumstances in the world currently. While in this speech, I would love to preach about how I'm forever grateful to the Highland School District and everything they have done for us. I wanted to switch things up a little bit. Today, I would like to tell you a story that altered my perspective on life and hope it has the same effect on all of you as you start your journey into the world. This story is about a student who is faced with a challenge. This student was upbeat and more friendly than the rest, never hesitating to make a new friend. He was a dedicated Boy Scout, hunting and fishing enthusiast, and the top, one of the most friendly kids you'd ever meet. While his eyes were focused on the future, an obstacle which many face today hit him hard, which was cancer. But unlike the most, he did not wallow in the pain or show his misery, but instead he continued his life and what made him happy. He stuck to the scouts, attended school like any other kid. For years of ups and downs of this struggle with illness, he stayed positive, happy and kind, and still never hesitated to make a new friend or lighten your day. Sadly though, just when most thought he was getting better, his cancer came back, but much worse than before. Unfortunately, shortly after his 14th birthday, he passed away with all of his friends there to support him. For those of you who may not recognize this story, and it's a lot closer to home than you may think. For me, this only hits a few houses away, like Mr. Moore touched on was a student of ours, Matthew Watts, whose chair would be in the back row if he's here with us today. While many of us were friends with Matt and grieve his loss, there's a moral to the story that we can all learn from this journey into adulthood. The moral here to learn is happiness and kindness through adversity. 
Similar to Matt, we all have a light in our eyes with hopes and plans for our futures. But when an obstacle blocks our path, how will we overcome it? The solution is evident in Matt's story. Positive, positivity and kindness will not, help us, not only help us succeed, but burst through our barriers and lighten the world for all those around us. As we can see, life is short. You never know what's around the corner, which is why we should make the best of every moment, never submitting to our obstacles. One thing I've learned in my 12 years from Highlands is that we have a drive that cannot be matched. We not only owe it to ourselves to shine, but to prove to the future of Highlands what a golden ram is capable of. As a ram, our potentials are endless, and let's ensure that the world knows. I would like to thank everybody today for the opportunity to speak in front of you and let everybody know I am proud to be a golden ram. Dr. Mawinney, now the time that we've been waiting for. By the power invested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania as principal of Highlands High School, I hereby certify that all members present in the class of 2020 have met all local and state requirements for high school graduation. I present to you the class of 2020. Thank you. Mr. Moore and Mr. Bennis, with the authority vested in me by the Pennsylvania Department of Education as superintendent, I officially accept your recommendation of the Highlands Class of 2020 and present the class for confirmation to, to the president of the Highlands School Board, Mrs. Bobby Neese. Good evening, graduates, administration, and guests. It truly is an honor for me to have the opportunity to be here this evening on behalf of the Highlands School Board. Just like you did not expect to have graduation on July 1st, I most certainly never expected to be here in front of you in this capacity. But 2020 threw us some zingers and here we are and I'm so thankful to be here. I'll be brief, however, I do wanna share a few reflections on your grad graduating class. Each of you did not just attend Highlands. You are Highlands. You have played a vital role in creating the district we are today. But more importantly, you motivate and inspire us to continuously strive to better our district for the future. More so than ever, your experience these last few months will impact the future generations of Highland students, including my own children. You have encouraged, if not demanded, your teachers, administration, and the school board to think outside of the box. Your perseverance and determination to succeed is nothing short of admirable. As you move on to the next chapter, you take a piece of Highlands with you. However, those of us you leave behind are proud to continue to represent the district you have helped to shape. On behalf of the Highlands School Board, I want to thank you for allowing us to experience this journey with you. We wish you all the best and can't wait to hear of your future successes. Now, without further ado, it is my pleasure and duty as the president of Highlands School Board in accordance with the directives of the Department of Education and the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to confirm the eligibility of the Highlands class of 2020 for graduation. I hereby approve the granting of these diplomas. Congratulations.
William Gustafson, diploma given by Mr. Bennis, high school principal. Thomas Bender. Christopher Ratliff. Rachel Blackburn. Kara Lehu. Georgia Peters. Christopher Timmons. Scott Abbey. Gabriel Anthony. Thomas Babinsack. Chloe Baker. Anthony Bergamasco. Randall Bullinger. Kylie Bumbalski. Jackson Bond, diploma. Diploma given by high school principal, Mr. Mort. Bria Bonnet. Shane Bowman. Tatiana Boykin. Connor Cario. David Catley. Matthew Cicada. Matthew Chessy. Madeline Sin Madeline Sincala. Blake Clark. Clark. 
Andrew Clinton. Luke Cochran. Diploma. Diploma given by parent and Highlands Elementary teacher, Melody Cochran. Nikayla Covington. Destiny Kratzenberg. Jonathan Kreis. April Cummings. Charles D'Angelo. Anasia Davis. Haley DeLembo. Nick Dupree. Samantha Dutch. Bryce Eddy. Elliot English. Isabel Estrabella. Madison Foss. Sarah Ford. Christopher Fowler. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, at this time, parents, Madeline Gantz. Tyler Garver. Ethan Gillette. Chase Godfrey. Michael Griffin. Demaria Hairston Patterson. Kaylee Hank. Rebecca Hanley. Sarah Hanley. No. Brianna Hemingway. Haley Heaster. Diploma given by 
Miss Jolie Heaster, teacher, Highlands School District. Hold on. <laughs> Darren Hildebrand. Haley Homan. Deshaun Hawley. Lauren Horwitz. Rose Hunkley. Olivia Jermalowski. Brandon Jockham. Avery Johns. Bethany Jones. Diploma given by high school, Highlands High School principal, Mr. Charlie Mort. Caitlin Jones. Mercedes Jones. Mia Jean Jones. Trevor Jones. Zoe Elizabeth Jones. Chloe Kessler. Shaylin Madison Killian. Courtney Klein. <laughs> Bay Nizer. <laughs> Brendan Conley. Jenna Koneski. Joshua Korb. Jacob Kozakowski. Ariana Kovac. Ryan Kubico. Tage Lang. With Dominic Lanius. Michaela Little. Yeah. 
Michael Magdinick. Alexa Marasco. Shaylin Marinelli. Gabriella Sophia McCurdy. Matthew McCutcheon. Nathaniel McKay. Hunter McMillan. Logan McMillan. Caitlin Meckenbeyer. Tanner Melly. Anthony Mills. Emma Mock. Aaron Moore. Corey Myers. Diploma given by High Highlands High School Principal, Mr. Charlie Mort. Maria Natskakula. <laughs> Diploma given by Mr. Sean Bennis, High School Principal. Gregory Norris. Cassandra O'Connor. Bridget Ott. Michaela Palermo. David Pearson. Scott Polly. Chloe Pamito. Ryan Porter. <laughs> Alexandra Prill. <laughs> Casey Quillen. Michael Racis. Sienna Randolph. Zachary Rainey. Mackenzie Remper. Parents, at this time, if you would safely 
Rashad D. Elijah Rubin. Nathaniel Riddell. Rachel Reinhardt. Madison Ritchie. Austin Rose. Cheyenne Rosenberger. Cody Rouse. Isabella Ruggieri. Avery Sabatini. <laughs> Olivia Shetler. <laughs> Cooper Shane. Abigail Schuler, Cassie Schaefer, <laughs> Daniel Signorella, <laughs> Robert Singer. Caitlin Slater. Xavier Smith. <laughs> Olivia Solar. Kelvin Spears. Thomas Ray Spinks the third. Shane Stefanik. Philip Stevens. <laughs> Taylor Stuckley. <laughs> Skyler Star Mezgel Summers. Jacob Taliana. Andrew Valasek. James Vance. Diploma given by high school principal, Mr. Charlie Mort. Logan Venora. Caleb Walker. Cassandra Walters. Yeah. 
Jacob Wainer. <laughs> Shaylee Welker. Abigail Welling. Maximus Weston. Isaac Wiles. Mara Wiley. Marie Wise. <laughs> Lucas Witt. <laughs> Diploma given by Mr. Gene Witt, Highland School Board member. James Wright. Noah Wiley. Jaden Yaki. Tyrese Ziegler King. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to recognize our foreign exchange students that we had this year, but unfortunately, due to COVID, had to go home a little bit earlier than expected. Uh, and just let you know, we will be sending their diplomas to them. They were Carol Franken, Uger Sen, Freya Schoen, Tobiah Franchetti, Tess Grange, and Sub Sub Sonny, Sonny Nijawinda. So, Please bow your head if you do so choose. May God's blessings follow you all as you find new journeys to travel. May you walk safely along the pathways of your dreams. May his gentle hand guide the decisions you will make and the passions that you follow. May your hearts and lives always reflect his love and truth. And may hope be a light within you that you carry into each new day. Amen. If you would please remain standing, or if you would please stand <laughs> for the alma mater. Hail to the old Highlands High School, we with reverence sing thy praise. May we ever keep thy memory bright and true through all our days. Gold and brown and white, the colors of our alma mater proud. Let our zeal be fervent as we sing our glories. Hail to the old Highlands High School, we with reverence sing thy praise. May we ever keep thy memory bright and true through all our days. We're almost there. But uh, as we re do the recessional, if parents, if you can come down the stand, uh, out of the stands and exit to your right, please. and. Uh, the recessional for the students, you know what you're
to do. Thank you. Not, not yet. Well, the parents, are now. The parents, parents, hold on one second. Good. Okay, it's the part you all have been waiting for. As a duly sworn commission officer of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Department of Education, I hereby validate your status as official graduates of the Highland School District Class of 2020. You may now move your tassels over your heart. Congratulations. Thanks for all your help. I thought so too. Good. Thank you. What do you think? You think it went okay? Good. A couple of hiccups here and there, but. Thank you guys. You kept it going smoothly too out there. Appreciate it. It was quick. No, it was good. It was good. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll get you. I kept leaving my mask yep. everywhere, but. Went nice job. Thank you, guys. No.